<clears throat> mic check, mic check. Yo, everybody, welcome back to this video. Welcome back, what the fuck? Start over. Yo, everybody, welcome back. <sighs> Yo, everybody, welcome into the video. If you clicked on this, you know what you're here for. This right here is gonna be a f my full analysis of not only, not only Royce's part of the beef, not only his seven minute song, but also the seven minute song that Lupe recorded. That's why this video is 30 minutes. So you're getting both in one reaction. Everybody that's here, I appreciate you being here. Just so you know, this is going to be a clip from my New Music Friday segment that we do over on Twitch. If you're someone who wants to potentially see what we do on Twitch, again, Twitch is free completely. If you're an Amazon Prime member, you can actually support the channel monetarily for free by giving me a Prime subscription, which comes with your Amazon Prime membership. So if you're someone who wants to support the channel, you wanna, you wanna vibe with us live, it's a whole different type of vibe. It's much tighter because it is on stream live versus like a, just a YouTube video. If you wanna see what we got going on over there, I highly encourage it, I love it so much. It's definitely something that I plan on doing long-term. But other than that, y'all guys are here, here for this video. Hope y'all enjoy it, it's a little long, but you know, I got I got shit to say. And it's two 14 minutes, it's 14 minutes worth of song in a 28 minute video, basically. But yo, enjoy. Lupe and Royce feud explained. Okay, bear with me. So after Daylight versus King Los, Lupe and many other rappers were having a whole debate of who's the best and how to prove it. Things happened between Royce and Cassidy, then RJ Payne and Ransom got involved in this debate. Lupe said that you all say you're the best, so just prove it. Lou said that there's an organization in NY called EOW where you could objectively decide who's the best. Royce backed up. Then Lou was talking to, to Mickey Facts about how Royce and Murder Mook are nice, but they're not the best. Then Royce was on live with Guru. Royce called Lupe a bitch on live. Lou said, all right, then start practicing. Loaded Lux and Mickey Facts bet on Lupe against Guru and Mook, who chose Royce. That's the whole crux of this stuff. All right, let's see what, uh, let's see what Royce is talking about. Cause this just happened, right? This just happened yesterday. Silence of the Lambda. Seven minutes? Huh? Uh, solidarity like that muscle we refuse to flex. That synergy that these niggas just refuse to tap into. In our disparity, match our hustle, we exude success. Attack us mentally, that's that energy kings get trapped into. Therefore, I'm done promoting the dumb shit. I put a hole in your son while he holding your son chips. While you over uh, with a chip on your shoulder like you over or some shit. Your flow is redundant. I separate your body from soul. So is he talking about Lupe right here? Is this already at Lupe? So, so one thing about Royce the Five Nines flow style that I see like bringing him down in this in this song in this diss is that he tries to be too technical all the fucking time. Hella internal rhyme schemes. Your average listener is gonna get tripped up by that. I understand that Lupe and Royce are the top of the top of the cream of the crop when it comes to lyrical ability. I expected to do this, but this is definitely, it's not gonna be a great listen because of how complex that it is. It's not gonna be something that you listen to over and over. Now your body is cold, spiraling out of control. Now you over there body odor is pungent for coming out of your body over assumptions. Look at all this passive aggressive pussy and all the past neglectful positions these pussies put me in. We them cool niggas bringing food, liquor, and foolies in. They do all the yelling and accuse nigga of bullying. That's dope. We them cool and we're bringing food and liquor and fullies because we Lupe has a song to cool and obviously the album full food and liquor. That's nice. Niggas bringing food, liquor, and fullies in. They do all the yelling and accuse nickel of bullying. Cruelty to MCs is intellectual vibrato. Run a full speed to hit niggas with the message like wallow. I bleed mentally, uh, I read mentally and sing with Neo and Stevie Sensory. I squeeze to this ego oh, completely empty. Neo and Stevie Sensory? That's hard. And I squeeze till this till like till till this eagle's completely empty. Talking about a desert eagle. And he's talking talking about taking shots at, at Lupe. I'm three dimensional, now feed me MCs. I'm greed and envy. Carlito, watch me go, repo, y'all sweeties bently. I skid mark through these thoughts with a narc commit largely. I live hardly to incarcerate me to kill softly. Either or it's me or Bill Cosby. They trying to kill a lord online premature. It's biz market. Can't expect you to like me more than you love rap beef. See, this is what I'm talking about. Like, we're just doing a lot of craziness. It just seems very, like, convoluted in there, you know? Like, there's so much going on. Is he even talking to Lupe right now, or is he just going off, showing off his technical skill, or what's the deal? How, If you've listened to this, how much of the seven-minute song is actually a direct diss at Lupe? How many? Because right now, I feel like we're not even... We're all so off topic from talking about Lupe or the situation, I don't even know. Lupe's re response is much more direct. 
See, you can't be saying things talking about puss, passive aggressive pussyfooting. You know what I'm saying? And then and then you're not even being direct on your on your diss. I respect Royce the five nine like a motherfucker. I think he is one of the best, one of the best rappers of all time. But I don't know if he's a beef rapper. You know what I'm saying? Can't expect you to like me more than you love rap beef. You respect white people more than you love black people. Shit. I let you race where the apes ate. I SMH, I let you naysay. Your legends ain't say. I desecrate flex. I de that was nice. I let you shit where the where the apes ate. Apes ate. I SMH, I let you naysay. Your legends ain't say. I desecrate flex. I decorate sway. I estimate a hundred left. I let the case lay. I don't carry suitcases on big runs to Mall Steep. I don't carry big guns to a small beef. I don't really care what Mickey Fax has to say. Add Lupe, that's too shape. I don't care for big gums and small teeth. You know the gold off rolls if I'm a purchase bling. Just so you know, not a soul walking the earth is mean. Bow before the king, kiss the goat, all purpose ring. Why the guard poses like a bow soldier versus me. Y'all with all the jokes, laugh hard, but y'all ridiculous. I'm with all the smoke, Matt Bar, Shikari Richardson. Proven rap. All right. What are y'all feeling about this? I'm feeling like it's way too all over the place. The whole time he was just desperately trying to show his skill, not really saying anything. This right here is like, first off, it's not an easy listen. So I don't, I don't really know. I'm the dude who they threw the case at like eight track tapes. Blue A stacks and Peter Lugas to the Shafate that state. Who weighs at the Louis haters through the new Maybach drapes. We gon' do this for Kanye. If you could relate that straight, we come shooting for Conway. Ruby, your face back straight. 170 on the dash. All the felonies and the demonic acts. With devils like Vlad, always telling me all of the trauma back. I speak to cabarets as a deviation of drama. Pastors and wave caps as a recreation of honor. Glad to appreciate black abbreviations of genre. Battle me ASAP, that's for PDA with Rihanna These male babies <laughs> with crying attitudes, I ain't mad at you My kind of fabric is well tailored to a Byron Allen suit I'm a superstar, I'm a superstar But usually I'm choosing peace of heaven You are a superstar, like make, mocking, mocking, uh, mocking Lupe or his song Superstar, I'm a superstar but usually I'm choosing peace of having a tax tone From using celery ranch to moving into a new elegant ranch home A true MC, y'all doing them regular degular dance songs You losing your teeth, moving like using Kevin Durant comb We share the light whenever the Here <laughs> you're losing your teeth, moving like using Kevin Durant comb <laughs> Why you gotta do KD like that? Saying that he's got such thick fucking hair that he's gonna lose teeth in his comb Oh my god You losing your teeth, moving like using Kevin Durant comb we share the light whenever the mic and drums get blacked on. The better knives than ever polite and young relaxed on. Here come the Thundercat song. Karate beef, Miyagi, keep it completely boxer brief. Don't the dun dun get waxed on. And that's the rhythm of standing up. Boxer brief, the dun dun duns get waxed on. This is like, this is not just, this is just not a good diss. Like, this is not a good diss record. I don't even know what parts are going at, at Lupe. Is he just talking his shit right here? Cause this is just, it's impressive, obviously. The, the rhyme schemes are crazy impressive, but there ain't nothing that's... Is he talking about Lupe having fucking big gums and small teeth? Is that actually like a diss that we're going at? That that line is on par with your beard's weird by fucking MGK. What? If Even if Lupe has big teeth or big gums and small teeth, what kind of fucking diss is that? Okay, oh, you got me, I guess. I like my crackers dead and white just like them shits the shack owns. Call me Big Cialis if she stalking, switch my address, get Viagra, think I had no liquor walls in this Niagara. This is George and this fly actress, I'm involved with this, my astro lick my ass, and if y'all asking if I'm gassing, it's my asthma. Y'all listening to the master who's been talking to the masses, who's been listening to thy master through this targeted diaspora. Y'all get awards to get in wars, I spit water dilution. I'm balling, I hit record, I'm getting courted by Lucy. The Lord abuses the black of culture with actors like rapper poor rapid chords. Distract you boys to lower the nooses. Oh, oh, oh. Does he coming at Michael Rappaport? First off, I can't stand that motherfucker, so I don't even care that he said that. They rap your chorus to distract you boys just to lower the nooses. Lord abuses the blacker culture with actors like Rap Report. That was hard. Yeah, that that's my, yeah, the asthma, that whole little scheme up there is tight. But again, I feel like he like 
gets on this run where he's just going to go ham on everything and he just he's just talking. This is Kyle, this is below MGK's disc for me right now. I'm not even talking like uh as a Lupe fan. Like obviously I'm a pretty diehard Lupe fan, but I want somebody to go at Lupe so we could actually see the, you know, see how Lupe would respond in a diss. And if there was anybody that was going to do it, I would have picked Royce the 59, but this is like not a good diss record. Yeah, Rap Devil was way better than this shit. Cause it was at least direct. Black culture with actors like rappers, more rapid chords, distract your voices, the lower the nooses. The more important the news is, more distorted the fuses. Vax all they employ looter, exploit the movement. To know it's cops killing black god is a mortal nuisance. Holding your top is the last straw, like quarter juices. The more exclusive the your Gucci, the poor the boosters. It's the more juvies and 42s that the court accuses. I wish Nick Cannon the testicular fortitude, the 40 new stepchildren to eject him with the cure to lupus. Pain ain't even frequent. When just evil teasing the godly, it ain't even inside me. It's just weakness leaving the body. I flip my heritage, redefined it to die in jail. Buy and sell for my clientele, but without the mind's help. Ryan, big alliances, click alliances, iron elk. Built a giant pyramids in alignment with Orion's belt. Well, you ain't got to lie, you a hostile guy. Like you about to ride the new entourage, but you not too wise. You've been ostracized, you used to rock with Nas. You was hot July, but look at you now, you just hot to rock. Loaded up, said if we battle, then he gon' sit with Luke. I told him, you're dead if we battle, now who gon' sit with you? I'm the greatest. See this is good. I mean, it's a good, it's good rapping. Okay, so this is what I feel about this type of style of rap. In the same way that people talk a lot of shit about uh, like mumble rap, quote unquote, I feel like this right here, whenever you're rapping like this, it can easily be misconstrued with the same thing that mumble that mumble rap is the same the same thing that people are talking about mumble rap. I can't understand anything. He's not really saying anything. If you rap like this, you could clearly have that like here. You can have that same like your brain goes numb. It's impressive, but doing the same scheme, doing the same like internal rhyme scheme nonstop for seven minutes. Does somebody even want to actually listen to that? It's just supposed to be a hard disc, though, or just a technical showcase to prove superiority. I don't know. Three Pierce. That's the thing. I, I, that That's a good point, too. I mean, it's cool that he's technical and we're finally getting something with like talking about Lotus Lux and Lupe. And they, you know, they hired they hired him for the movement of vaccination, whatever. But. If we battle, now who gon' sit with you? I'm the great MC, all the ladies see, all the ladies see. In HD, it's an ADP, and this shit for publicity. You and Mick couldn't mix your written and spit good as a pick of me. Stop it, a sip with the dog, a quick with the hickory dickory. This Oscar Della Mente the dog, Hickory Dickory. The Kente, the Kente, to the fullest school of pin play, offering the fool a template. It's hard to differentiate. Oh, dog, with who Lorenz take? Judas from Ingrate. Who the students from who the sensei? The Carter mascot, Forrest moving packs on the back block. Nobody argue with Shaq while rooting the Kim. Bay. Take your mama out on a date at the bar clay like I'm Drake on the parquet. Call the Uber soon as the rent pay. When it's the last shot with a second left and second best is an RJ. Need to get used to moving with MJ. Everybody grinding on Allen Islands and Carl Rose. Heavy grinding on every island out of the Congo. Well, I'm not a count of violent exchange through Congo. So I don't holler at you following. Exchange and John Dolls. We can kick it, be specific or meet. All right, do we have to listen to the last minute of this? Do I get the gist? Is there anything is there anything crazy happening here where I got to be like, oh, the last minute he goes in on Lupe or did I get the gist of everything? Hey, Bullet, what's up? Welcome to chat. I get it, right? I didn't hear anything in this whole thing where I was like, oh, he got him. All right, let's go to Lupe's. Let's see what Lupe did. So, yeah, track. I apologize, man. It's uh, last minute. SMR. Yeah. Okay, and I will point out that this beat is a lot more aggressive and dark already, so this makes better sense for an actual diss record. Nigga shot a dream on me, told that nigga he can lean on me. Fall asleep and have a dream on me, nigga. Yeah, 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 yeah. You see, it takes niggas weeks. They need a comfort zone and some beats. Lollygaggers to poly matters to go over responses. Get all laid and technical when they content. Press record. <laughs> Right out the gate, already saying get all layered and technical in their content. Like they can't even just go direct at somebody. They got to show off and f smoke and flames. You know what I'm saying? Royce dropped his song weeks after Lupe told him. Oh, is that why he said he needed he needed weeks to come out with this diss? Then I bring the receipts. Lambda, lambda, lambda. I think that shit was sweet. I wish I could just kiss you on the cheek. Nerds have their hands in everything. Gangsters won't even touch the police. 
Won't you tell your niggas get that? Take some of them cool fullies and go and get some of our shit back. Your problem is that you ain't never had no impact. Kit Kats and Chit Chat and Syntax don't make up for how much you sit back. Bruh, the problem is you ain't never had no impact? <sighs> You ain't never had no impact, bruh. Talking to Royce the 5'9", because really, he hasn't had anywhere near as big an impact on rap as Lupe had over his career. I think that nigga's scared. He never leave heaven, because he already did. Uh... Damn. Nigga, are you insane? What's the point in knowing how to play and aim? If the niggas you gon' bang look exactly the same, that ain't motherfucking cool. That's a motherfucking shame. What's the point of shooting and aiming if you're not if you're not lifting your black people up if you're trying to tear them down? Crazy. Lupe, my favorite rapper. He's my favorite lyricist for sure of all time. That ain't motherfucking cool. That's a motherfucking shame. This ain't no motherfucking game. That's why I think you are a motherfucking lame. Hey, is this off the top? Because this sounds like it could be legitimately off the top. Because Lupe, whenever he flows off the top, he has like this very like he rushes his delivery as he's thinking because it's almost like he missed the first downbeat. You know what I'm saying? So somebody let me know because this sounds like Lou off the top. You are a motherfucking lame. We both wear I can see that, Leafy. The difference is I was in school thinking it was cool. You was thinking of skipping classes. Ooh. Listening to your track record, I can see you were skipping classics. I did it on my uh. first one and delivered to the masses. Your songs are immemorable. Your verses are impenetrable. I ain't even listen to that disc record. I only fuck with you because your interviews. I <laughs> I ain't even listen to the disc record. I only fuck with you because your interviews. Your verses are impenetrable. I ain't even listen to that disc record. I only fuck with you because your interviews. This is way more I direct. Ain't even when you call me a bitch, I was like, look at Salem calling me a witch. Ah. Look at how they made him. Look how much they gave him. Look at all the assists. Nigga, if it wasn't for Premier, you wouldn't be. If it wasn't for, if it wasn't for, if it wasn't for, if it wasn't for, wasn't for nigga, I got a dozen more. Hoes think I'm ho Bruh. That's what I mean right there. Like, that sounds like it's off the top. Like, he said if it wasn't for, but couldn't think of anything, like, right there. So he just said if it wasn't for, if it wasn't for, about 100 more. You know what I'm saying? If this is off, the, this could be off the top, Greg. If I feel like Mural was complete, I don't know if y'all realize, but Mural was completely off the top. Not like, not like in one long eight minute sitting, but like he rapped and then paused and then just rapped. He didn't write anything down. But yeah, look at all the assists that you needed to even be in the spotlight. Like Pretty said, some people don't even know Royce the Five Nine away from away from Eminem or Bad Meets Evil. If it wasn't for, if it wasn't for, if it wasn't for, nigga, I got a dozen more. Hoes Crazy. think I'm hoes, Nas think I'm Nas. That's the trick. You ain't gotta think when niggas already think you are. Uh, I don't even got a front out here because everybody already knows who I am with the pin. And that was right. That was that was in response to Royce that said, like, Nas used to fuck with you, but now he don't fuck with you no more. I got to think when niggas already think you are. Ah. Mwah. Your story crooked and your book too. Pass the dumb shit, but you will shoot somebody's son holding son ships. I wish they would have left Biz here and fucking took you. Oh my God, bro. I wish they would have left Biz Marquis here and took you instead. Talk about shooting the kid with sun chips. Oh my God. And he's like, why, why are we killing black men? I wish they would have left Biz here and fucking took you. And all your hyper technical, hyper in life. I've uh, never met with you from a distance. I accepted you from the podcast. I've been kind of skeptical. This ain't our first class. This is just one of the several. Oh my, see this, this is a diss right here going directly at this motherfucker. This makes look Royce look fake woke on the track tricked. That's basically all a fake or it's just a woke track. So it's kind of like that. He said, I wish they took you and all your on your hyper technical hypotheticals, bro. <laughs> Again, like that was one of the things that I didn't like about Royce's diss is that it was hyper technical. So hard. Hypotheticals in life. I've never met with you from a distance. I accepted you from the podcast. I've been kind of skeptical. This ain't our first class. This is just one of the several. I ain't trying to bash, but it was like you was off your schedule. You was throwing more than jabs. I was like, this nigga's incredible. We had to fucking edit you. I don't know what vegan Detroit vegetable Dr. Sevy diet infected you to think that we shared the same metrics or somehow I was less than you and I was the type of nigga that you could get really disrespectful to. Oh my God. He's like, I don't know what kind of vegan fucking European medicine, West, what bullshit you're on over there, but I'm sorry that the doctor basically thought, made you think you could step to me. It's his fault that this is even, ha that this is even happening. And you and I was the type of nigga that you could get really disrespectful to. I ain't never lectured you. I get energetic and joke. 
But in real talk, nigga, I ain't never disrespected you. I'ma punch you in your fucking face. And we all think it's silly. I'm thinking like, won't this bitch nigga clean up his fucking city? I mean, you got all of the clout. You know how to bring all them niggas out. You can walk the walk. I mean, we seen you walk all over your house. But me and me, uh. this geeks. Because you got some heat. Like, I didn't go to the closet and put guns all over the couch. Your mental health hotline, I think that shit is grown up. But you're the very last nigga that should be picking that phone up. I spit you. Oh my god, your mental health hotline, that shit's grown up. I applaud you for that, but you're the last one that should be picking the phone up. But you're the very last nigga that should be picking that phone up. I spit your verse to get immersed inside my enemy. And to remind you, they gotta go through you just to get to me. Subtle subordination. Oh! Perpetual... oh! To remind you that they gotta go through you to get to me? Oh, I spit my verse back at you to remind you that they got to go through you to even get to me. Oh my God. That was hard as fuck. I spit your verse to get immersed inside of my enemy. <laughs> First to get immersed inside my enemy And to remind you they gotta go through you Just to get to me, subtle subordination Perpetual sidekick nigga Sort of a station that you used to So you ain't gotta get all extremely Too personal on your albums When you not surrounded by bigger artists To fucking boost you nigga. <laughs> When you're not surrounded By bigger artists to boost you Oh my god there should be no debate between this disc and Royce the Five Nines disc, which one is better? And you're right, Pretty. I do feel like Lupe's just like, I could do this in my sleep. This ain't even a thing for me. I'm sorry that you thought that you could go at me. Personal on your albums when you're not surrounded by bigger artists to fucking boost you. Nigga, you called Bruh. me. I didn't recruit you. No uh. regrets. I take it as a test. You said, Lupe, you gotta have some grace. Not be so haphazardly to put the truth all in their face. Now that I think about it, that's kind of half and half. If a nigga asking you for the strap, why would you keep it in the stash? If you mm. ran the world, we get defeated in the flash. You really gonna be the boss, can't keep secrets from the staff. I learned that in the streets. Nigga sweeping trash, keeping my city clean while you was talking about beating a nigga's ass. That shit is whack. Uh, I was in the streets cleaning my city while you're just talking about beating somebody's ass. You don't walk the walk, all you do is talk the talk. You're here for the clout, I'm here for actual social change. Keeping my city clean while you was talking about beating a nigga's ass. That shit is whack. Long live backpack rap. Fuck these monster drinking new age conscious thinking. Farrakhan today, gangster tomorrow. Uh, One foot in they sorrow, another foot in the trap. Killers who easily trap. Triggered by a little nigga's attacks who had the audacity to ask rappers to rap. No, he did not fucking go ham like that on everybody. Long live backpack rap. Fuck these monster drinking, new age, conscious thinking, Farrakhan, tomorrow, today gangster, tomorrow one foot in they sorrow, another foot in the trap. Killers who are easily triggered by a little attack who had the audacity to ask rappers to rap. Bruh. Oh my God. Why are you coming at me just because I asked rappers to rap? Oh, so I had the audacity to ask them to do their job. You know, that shit was crazy. We're gonna listen to that whole thing again. Long live backpack rap. Fuck these monster drinking, new age conscious thinking, Farrakhan today, gangster. Monster drinking, new age conscious thinking, ferret cut, bro. That scheme is crazy. Backpack rap, fuck these monster drinking, new age conscious thinking, ferret con today, gangster tomorrow. One foot in they sorrow, another foot in the trap. Killers who easily triggered by a little nigga's attacks who had the audacity to ask rappers to rap. Bruh, that's so fucking hard. That whole thing is hard. Hey, hey, listen, I ain't done. Nigga, check this out. Look, hey, in seven minutes, he did it. If he knew how to freestyle, he could have rented heaven for seven minutes and been done what needed to be done by the second sentence. All this yeah. extra innings may come across as master, but my impressions apprentice, your penmanship has. Oh, my God. He needed he needed a week because he doesn't even know how to freestyle. If he did, he'd be in heaven for seven minutes in his head, but he can't do that. And he said all of this rhyme scheme bullshit that you hear in his verse, that's all just a bunch of shit to put a smoke, a facade up that he's the master, but really I'm the apprentice. Cross is master, but my impression's apprentice. Your penmanship has the fingerprints of a gimmick and affection and the intimacy of it. Has the fingerprints of a gimmick? But my impressions apprentice, your penmanship has the fingerprints of a gimmick and affection and the intimacy of impressions of that nigga you friends with. 
impressions and intimacy of that dude that you friends with and your your whole thing just screams a gimmick bruh he do need some milk i don't need it i don't oh need he it. don't need it yeah. oh, he needs God. some milk you know what i'm saying that affection and the intimacy of impressions of that nigga you friends with i ain't gotta say it to say it i can't even blame you the nigga's one of my favorites Fuck yeah. that, back to my status All icy, talk spicy like the house of a Atreides Inwardly successful and outwardly I've made it Clearly, if I was a regular rapper you wouldn't even come near me This nigga yeah. think you're Siri Your answer to your queries What's Siri to Steve Jobs? A button to Tahiri I'm ex- What's Siri to Steve Jobs? He think he's Siri and answer to your query? No wonder, I was wondering why Steve Jobs was on the cover. I was like, what does this have to do with anything? The answer to your queries. What's Siri to Steve Jobs? A button to Tahiri. I'm excessively cheery. Promote my nigga series. What's an alien to a Pentagon report? I see your brother trying to chilly. That's what he's supposed to do. And everybody that's fucking close to you. Post support. Push you forth. Calm your black ass down cause they ain't put you in the sauce mm. Shows violence I just wanna know when you gonna respond to Osiris And go to EO Dub Battling from a judge Instead of hitting smack and trying to entertain the thugs Come and fuck with us Nerds Dog Alright Obviously If this thing is gonna play out and do a long, a long battle Lupe's 1-0. If it's just one round, he won by a long shot. And again, this is not being biased as a fan of Lupe because I'm a fan of Royce as well. But sometimes I do be getting annoyed by the amount of like technical rapping that he does. The internal rhyme schemes get annoying after a while. Like just, just spit some shit. You know what I'm saying? The internal rhyme schemes from Royce, sometimes they feel like if you ever watch a point guard that's just off flash fucking handles like crazy, but he doesn't go anywhere. He stays in the same spot. That's what the rhyme schemes feel like they do to me with Royce sometimes. Like drop the technicalities. Come at this motherfucker. This is a diss record. I think like one eighth, maybe a quarter of the entire Royce the 5'9 freestyle was about Lupe. I think it was Lupe jabs and then just some highbrow shit up here. You know what I'm saying? Royce got slaughtered, no house. True. <laughs> but Lupe, yo, when he's on his SLR grind, when he's down here and going directly at you and you're up here just taking some shots, but like just being really, really charismatic and really big time with your rhyme scheme, it's not going to hit in. This but this is the same thing as Rap Devil, but in a different way. Like Rap Devil for me was not a good diss track. It was good, but it wasn't a, as good as it could be because he was praising Eminem. That's not the point of a diss track. Royce's diss track for me is like, it's a good rap track, you know, technically showing off what you can do with the pen, but it is not a good diss track. This right here is a good diss track. SLR Lupe is a whole nother beast, yo.